guys, I thought we'd do something a little bit different as Kim here from Your Social Voice. I'm going to read you some of the comments that we get on our content, on our ads, and show you guys because a lot of the time when people go and put out ads, they put out content, what they fail to realize or they forget is that you are going to get haters. You're going to get people putting stupid comments on there. You're going to get people just commenting whatever they feel. They never say it to you in real life. But of course, like my good friend Tay Tay would say, is the haters are gonna hate, right? They're always gonna come out, they're always gonna say something. And sometimes I like to have a little bit of a lighthearted joke about it. Sometimes I like to go back to them on some stuff, um, stir the pot up a little bit, because as well, engagement is engagement. So if they wanna stir up, then I'm, I'm happy to do so. But what I wanna do is I'll tell you guys what the content is, what we've done, and I'll read you some of the comments, um, just so you can see how sometimes stupid it is and how sometimes funny it is as well. So the first one, is we did a video on traditional versus uh, social media advertising. So traditional advertising versus social media. Talked about how really billboard done is effective. You should use your money on uh, on social media. Now I want to show you the people's names because we'll try and keep them. This is called this guy uh, Dino. So Dino says most people aren't targeting you. It's not about just you. You know the people like you are minority, and most people buy products, have TV, and notice billboards. You're just thinking about yourself, Dino. Come on, mate. I'm thinking about everyone when I see them driving around, sitting at the traffic lights on their phones. What? And I asked him, I was like, good point, Steve. What's the last thing that you bought from a billboard? He didn't buy anything. He's never bought anything from a billboard. He's like, define billboards. Because if you include signs, then yes, I have. No, it's not, um, a sign is a sign. A billboard is a freaking billboard, all right? Um, so that's the first one that we've had there. What's, the next one, they get funnier as they go on, especially the older and further back we go in some of our videos. So the next is we did an ad for, um, we're looking for a new media buyer internally here. So it was Australia's next top media buyer. And I was wearing a t-shirt made by Operation Underground Railroad. So it's a charity that we sponsor. It's one of their shirts that you got as part of their, uh, when you sponsor them, they send you a shirt just as like a thank you and support. The guy says, going by that t-shirt, I'd say you need a new graphic designer. So <laughs> he's just pulled out. He has no idea who the company is. And he's just throwing out there that based on the t-shirt I'm wearing, I need to get a new graphic designer because we're going for a new media buyer. Mate, it's a t-shirt from a charity. All right, calm your farm. Relax a little bit. But um, I stood him back up and I was like, well, you can hit them up. And uh, if you like, I'm sure being a charity, they wouldn't mind some free advice from you and he just gave me a winky face back. So uh, it's always fun and interesting to see the comments that we have. Now, don't worry guys, they get better. So <laughs> the next one was, there is a, uh, a video of me and I'm walking into an event and I'm high-fiving everyone as we go and I kind of miss one guy, I turn around and high-five him, it's Wayne, one of our clients. And this guy's like, haha, the guy at 10 seconds is so butthurt, you didn't give him a high-five. He slaps your arm and looks around, he is so butthurt, haha. I can't start watching it. He must be dying for affirmation, lol. It's like, mate, no, it's because I missed him as I went past and I turned around and give him a high five. And then he comments again, like four weeks later, saying, ha 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 ha, I still can't, how still can't handle how funny that guy getting butt hurt is, lol, rejected. Right, like who has time to sit there and go through, and this is literally four weeks later, watch the video again and then comment on it, right? Just absolutely stupid. And now the reason guys is why I want to share some of these is really because like you're going to cop hate and you are going to have to deal with it. And you may as well have a little bit of a laugh about it because in reality, does someone typing a couple of words on a keyboard matter to us? No, and you'll see like this guy, this was the first ever time I did This Is Marketing Live, the first ever episode. So I was actually wearing this shirt, funnily enough, I think it was, so I'm wearing it and I'd been up since about 5 a.m. So I walk, in the morning, I iron it, go to the gym, iron my shirt, and, I wear, and at the end of the day, because when you sit down, what happens, your shirt gets creased, right? It creases up. One of this guy is like, where is he? <coughs> His name is Abhishek. Abhishek, mate. He says, iron the damn shirt. I messaged him back, I was like, mate, it was ironed at the start of the day, seven hours earlier. Take that into consideration for next week, I'll make sure the shirt's ironed for you. Like, who cares if my shirt is ironed or not, really, at the end of the day, right? It's not gonna affect the content that I'm sharing, it's not gonna make it any better or worse. Like, there's really no need to comment on my t-shirt. Now, this is gonna be a good one, right? 
So I did this one which was called, um, do you want fries with that? Or would you like fries with that? Where I was talking about upsells and I was in Canada. Um, at the time I was over there speaking at a conference. I did it up on a high on a mountain in Banff. And then one guy started, started commenting and they started joking. It's like, oh, I'm tired of paying for extras. Can I just get the basic thing with no added value? It's like, well, no, man. What, what, what point, what value does that have? Then the next guy, Ronan, comments, how much for your haircut? And I was like, it's priceless. And then he said, I'll make you a deal. I'll download your free success book on Amazon that'll make me a millionaire in one year and you shave your head and send me the hair. Deal? I was like, mate, first off, my hair is amazing. Second off, I don't have any books on Amazon about how to make a million dollars. So chill your, calm your farm. Uh, but then there's a few good people on there where they've got good comments and they're actually like tagging their friends and supporting each other. But like the rest of them, uh, not so much. Um, the other guy comes out with, what a blatantly obvious idea. Or this is one of my favorite ones. Are you joking? A 17 year old retail assistant knows the workings of an upsell. What else did we have there? We have um, P uh, Peter says, Philip Seymour Hoffman has come back from the grave to teach me. I don't know, Nita, can you put a photo up of Philip Seymour Hoffman? I don't know if I look like this guy. <laughs> I really have no idea who he is. Um, then the next one is, uh, <laughs> I'm talking about how the biggest thing in business is sales. You need to focus on sales, it's really, really important. Um, this guy, Connor. <laughs> Oh, sales is the biggest thing in business? Well, you might have to bleed this out and if you, no shit, what amazing insight, right? <laughs> There's a few more exactly the same like that. It's like, wow, the ultimate thing for your business is sales. Thanks, man, really didn't know that before. That's when I came back to. And he, I think he tagged his friend, his friend's like, right, haha. This was my first thought. I was like, well, sounds like you gents are already on the right track. You'd be surprised how many business owners tend to focus on anything apart from sales. Then at least this one came back nicely. So I didn't mean to sound rude. It was just funny when I heard it the first time. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. So sometimes the haters are a little bit nice. Um, oh, where's, oh, what's the hidden one? Oh, so I, bl I deleted this comment. This is from a uh, good, good, nice friend, the guy called Eddie. No one wants to see your ugly ass face, bro. Just stick to the voiceover thing. Cool. Thanks for that one, Eddie. I appreciate it. Next one was a video that we did where we received our two Comic Club Award from ClickFunnels. We just re received it. And when I turned around, I took the video when actually no one else was in the office. So a lot of the um, videos, everyone was saying, congratulations, awesome, well done. Um, and then one guy goes, haha, you still have an empty office though. It's like, yeah, man, because everyone's at lunch, right? <laughs> so you guys can see, like the, the comments just are really silly. Um, so, and then another one I want to talk about relational capital. Right, relational capital is actually a term that comes from uh, the number one marketer in the, really the history of marketing, Jay Abraham, sent over $13 billion in sales. I don't tell everyone that because I'm talking about it for myself. And then everyone starts commenting, mate, it's called goodwill. It already has a name. Don't reinvent that shit. A good customer base is not a new invention. It's been around since day dot. Um, <laughs> Giving customers a coffee on the house is not a good way to build customer relations. You're just trying to capitalize on common sense. If you're running a business, you don't already know this stuff, then you probably shouldn't be, and I'll tell you that for free. So mate, my video is free. Um, and then this other guy goes, see, check this out, T uh, Tegan. It seems you're allowed to just rebrand accounting terms these days. I'm not rebranding accounting terms. Um, he's like, your noise cancellation is terrible, it sucks. Um, what, else, what else we got here? Any other good ones? Some guy just said, have another beer, mate. I don't know if that means he thinks that I'm drunk or or what that one is. Um, where else? We've got a few good ones. It's like, I hate beer. Oh, the next one video was about upselling and he's like, um, I hate this as a customer. I don't want this. Um, I, I would never go to stores that do this. Uh, <laughs> to start, and then this guy says, to start with, you need someone dumb enough who's acquired enough coin to keep your mug in business until the local public get used to your presence. I have no idea what that means. So simple. I thought it was rocket science. It is simple. All right, we're not teaching rocket science over here. Um, a few people, I said, a few people come back and say, yeah, good, good, love it. 
other people like your video, your audio sucks, it's terrible. Um, what else we got here? And then I did a video, <laughs> this is one of my older videos, but it's like what I learned from spending X amount of dollars on masterminds and retreats. Watch this video below. Then this guy comments, he's like, maybe you should call your video what I learned about shooting a video with a bright background. Right? <laughs> Getting all upset about what type of background my video has. So guys, as you can see, you're gonna get comments, you're gonna get negative people, you'll equally get positive people. However, you have to be prepared for that because the internet is really a place for idiots, uh, right? They can run free, they can run rampant, they become keyboard warriors, they can do that sort of stuff. I personally would just say, let it become water like a duck's back. Don't worry about it, um, it's all good in the hood. Guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. If you didn't like it, equally, give me a thumbs down. I don't mind. Uh, comment and let me know what you thought about this video. If you wanna see us do more videos like this or what you would like to see from us, let us know. And as always, subscribe so that you see these videos first before anyone else. Until next time, I am Kim Barrett. You've been awesome. Adios.